Hey, what's up everybody? How we doing? Uh, what are we playing with today? The Arasaka 45 degree offset mount. That's what we have decided we are going to play with today. That's what we're playing with. All right, guys. So I'm going to preface. Uh, what am I doing? Ah, I'm all over the place. My name is Andrew. I'm the chief instructor for Shots Fired Training. Today, we're going to be covering the Arasaka 45 degree offset mount, installing it onto an AR-15 standard Picatinny rail. And I'm going to go over the do's and the do nots. I looked everywhere for this particular video because I was spending so much time trying to identify which screws are which screws and even reached out to Arasaka. Mr. Will, you're awesome. If you ever see this video, thank you guys so much. Um, cannot recommend the Arasaka offset plate as well as our customer service is just awesome. They totally took care of me and uh, you know were able to help me identify what was going wrong and what's happening. So for those of you <clears throat> or if you know, you know, hey, it is what it is. If not, whatever. So what am I doing here? I have my Geisley AR-15 and uh, my LVPO is a six hour uh, Tango T6 or 6T, either or, do your flavor. And I wanted to run a 45 degree offset with the Arasaka offset, uh, 45 degree offset. Now, the options that I went through were either T-Rex arms, uh, <coughs> pardon me, or the Arasaka and I ended up going to the Arasaka plate, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, specifically because I have the capability of being at a 45 or <coughs> rotate it around and I can be at the 35 degrees. I'm sorry guys, got a small little bit of a cold, but hey, we'll get over it, right? All right, so what I ended up doing in huge, huge error is this is my Trigicon RMR, which I pulled off of my Glock, bottom line. I pulled this off my Glock. This was one of the screws that was inside of the RMR holding it onto the Glock plate, right? This is the correct screw. Let's see if I can get you guys in there, okay? That's the correct screw. They're completely different screws for thread, pitch, and size, right? Whatever you want to call it, I mean, even if I'm using the word pitch right. So unfortunately, what I did was I took my screws that were inside of here uh, on my RMR that came with the RMR that were on a Glock plate, and I tried threading them into the uh, base plate uh, for the Arasaka. I went, got in there, I tried going down to torque spec per the torque specs that are listed in the back of our handy dandy plate number eight, because the plate number eight is required for this particular base. Let me get those into view there. Here's our torque specs. So I tried torquing this uh, particular screw and bottom line, I stripped it. Now, I think there were one of, one of the, the bottom hole, this naturally already went all the way to the bottom and I just made it worse. <clears throat> so 100% my fault, user error, but that's what happened. That's the bottom line. <coughs> I was using the wrong screws. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I was just using the wrong screws. So now this plate is literally trash, right? May she rest in peace. Moment of silence. Bah, 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 bah. All right, moving around along. So I sent some videos to Arasaka trying to find out, hey, what's going on? What's the deal? No, they sent me a new plate with the right screws. Cannot thank them enough. These are my old screws that are just gonna go in the garbage. But for the sake of anybody that's looking to assemble his or her Arasaka 45 degree offset and you don't know, I went looking everywhere for the specs and I got some confusion when it comes to, you know, 16 millimeter torque 15 hex head screws versus 10 millimeter or 14 millimeter and then 630 seconds uh, by 0.3918. It, it just got confusing as hell. So this video is for installation as quickly as possible. Uh, I'll do the torques, you know, maybe on video. We'll see how much time I got. I don't want to bore you guys to death. Uh, but anyway, so... When you receive your entire setup, you're gonna get it in this kind of a configuration. So you're gonna receive your stem, if you wanna call it, small plate on top, uh, and then the plate number eight, whatever plate you order, that's gonna come inside on its own. Now, because I'm using a Geisley 1.9 inch riser uh, scope mount or ring mount, I needed a larger plate, which is plate number eight, compared to other, um, LVPO mounts that might be at a 1.25, 1.5, or less than 
being that I'm at 1.9, this was the correct stem as well as, well, the stem I think is uh, switchable, but the plates have different options. Um, this particular plate is plate number eight, which is mounting the Trijicon RMR Type 2. It only comes with your two screws to lock this onto the stem, and there, there, there she has it. All right, so what I'm going to do here is take my large long lug nut screw here, whatever it is, and they supplied the Allen keys, which is really freaking cool. Uh, couldn't be more appreciative of that if you want to say anything about it. It just goes to show you. So let's make sure that this is getting threaded in the right way. Don't want to make it too tight. All right, we're already there. Okay, so back her off just a little bit so I can put her on the rail. And before I attach that, I am going to, if... I have my mountain, okay, right here. I'm gonna adjust my camera for you guys. Get down in there just a little bit. All right, so I'll be right up here. If I have <clears throat> this stem base plate, if you wanna call it, I don't wanna confuse this, so let's call it the stem base, right? This whole piece together collectively is called the stem. If I, I'll call this the stem base, right? Because it's reversible, that's the whole point. This is our base. So we've got our stem, stem base goes on top. If I've got the hump facing outboard, okay, outbound away from the rifle, I am at a 45 degree offset. If I remove it, rotate 180 degrees, congratulations, I am now at a 35 degree offset, which is what I'm going with because that's my preference, right? Bottom line. Now to do that, uh, take my two 16 millimeter screws, I believe that they are. I'm gonna slap these on. You guys can fast forward anytime you want, but let's get these in here. And I'm doing this from the ground up. So I wish this video had existed when I was doing this. It just would have been so much more helpful. Um, but you know, we are where we are, unfortunately. Okay, and I'm probably gonna need to torque these. So let's see how that's gonna go. All right, so let me check my torque specs real here, real quick here. All right, so my 16 millimeters optic base to stem, okay? So there you go. That's what they're calling their optic base to the stem, okay? So I got it right just by guessing. Look at that. So here's our stem. You got our optic base, and then you have a plate, okay? Let's get our acronyms right. Otherwise, we're going to be all over the place. Now, if you want a thingamajig thang thang, okay, do you, boo-boo. All right, so optic base to stem, four, M4 by 16 millimeter, IP torque spec, 30 inch pounds, okay? So... I've got my handy dandy uh, fix it sticks that only goes up to 25. She will chill, hang about, pull this out. She goes up to 65 and it's requesting for 30 inch pounds. So I'll slap my drill bits in here, grab my dong dicky hangy hoon, see if I can get these up there. Now, just so you know how these fix it sticks work, all you do is you start at a particular point. Oh, wait, nope, that's the wrong drill bit. As you were, stand by. There she goes. Okay. So these fix it sticks, let's see if I can get it on camera for you. Okay. You simply rotate around until you come to the place that you want to be at. All right. Now, I don't know if I'm going to hold that still enough. Let's, well, the answer right there is going to be absolutely not. I'm not going to be able to hold that still enough to get that torque down to the right specs. So off camera for a moment, you guys, my apologies. Thirty for one and thirty for the other. Let me make sure I get that in there. Gotta use some brute force strength, you know, hold it close to the tummy gut. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And there we go, thirty. Alright. Hooey! Had to just roar. Alright, Hulk status. Ooh. Did I put that on the right way? Oh thank god I did. Alright, so I got my hump going backwards. It's gonna be at a 35 degree instead of the 45 degree. All right, let's bring her up, slap her on the handy dandy rifle over here. Ah, oh, of course I did that. Zoom back out, give you guys a little bit more view. All right, if you have ever been pushed over in a porta potty by your friends, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. You, sir, have some amazing people in your life. Don't ever let them go. I mean, I'm not saying don't get revenge, but I'm saying those are some special people, right? Don't ever let them go. Oh. Come on. All right, here we go. Third time's the charm. Nope. Now it's going to be third time's the charm. All right, there we go. Lock her in. Screw, 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 screw. Oh. 
trying to get this on video for you guys as best I can. All right, so let me just turn her real quick, see likes. Anybody that calls me, oh, you're flogging yourself, shut up, go somewhere else. Okay, so change your bit. This is for the larger one on the back end. And very specifically, Picatinny rail clamp, IP27 Torx, 50 inch pounds. Dear Lord, have a mercy. <clears throat> so I've got 45 and 55. I'm going to go right in between there. This I have done and should be doable. Okay. Just because everybody's OCD and wants to freaking have a fit and all that. Everybody good? We happy? All right. Yeah. Happy? Leave a comment, you freaking keyboard warrior. And it's unsafe. Bite me. All right, moving right along. Administrative, it is what it is, guys. Okay, and I cleared it, okay? I don't wanna hear any complaining. Oh, look what you're doing, shut up. All right, moving right along. Ooh, ah, She-Hulk, all right, almost got it. Okay, now get some leverage, you know what? I might even do this. <gasps> look at that, look at that. Thank you, Mr. Fix It's Oh, it's so much easier. All right, I'm right at that 45 mark for those of you who can see. Hopefully you can. I'm gonna just go up right in between that 45 and 55 mark. And now I call that right at 50 inch pounds. Ease it off a little bit. Come right back up one more time, just for my giggles, right dead center, 45 and 55, and then I'll ease it back down. All right, so I have affirmed my torque specs on my first item on the list. Picatinny rail clamp, 50 inch pounds. I've confirmed on the back end, the 30 inch pounds for the screws for the optic base. There you go, the base onto the stem, okay? Now, uh, last but, or not last but not least, but I need to get my plate onto the stem itself. So the plate has a number on the back side here that just tells me exactly what it is. So it's got plate number eight. Get it up on there, got a little square in there. Okay, I'm going to rotate just a little bit, see if I can get you guys the smallest of better views. Right there is a little jiggle, 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 jiggle. All right, here we go. All right, so make sure you align it right, guys. You're going to be upset if you torque it down the wrong way, so you can catch whatever you need. Now, there is no plate requirement in between here. Um, I had some concerns just off the top of my head if water ever got in here or anything like that. I'd be kind of bugged, so I was wondering if there was a plate or a shear or anything, but it doesn't call for it. I don't know if it's necessary or not. I can see the battery straight through there. So no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you have concern about mud, sand, snow, water, and all that getting in there, well, yeah, of course. This particular hole in that of itself. Now, there's going to be two screws in here. So depending on the sealing of how well this is sealed, it is what it is. But then again, you're buying a Trigicon for a reason, right? It is what it is. They're the tried and true. All right, so let's slap her on here. I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, 10 millimeter, M4 10 millimeter, 30 inch pounds. That's what they want. Now, this fat boy torque screw is for the stem only. Throw on your other plate here. Fix it sticks. These things are just absolutely awesome. It's the first time I use them. I bought this as a little kit. Uh, there are some other kits out there. Um, it's just awesome. It's awesome. I might change to another kit that's got the exact same crap, but a little bit more materials. Uh, my range bag is the size of a large, if not extra large, I'd say extra large duffel bag. Um, now if you're using these to tighten, only tighten. Do not ever use these, your fix it sticks to loosen. Don't do it. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right. So throw her in there, screw her down nice and happily. It, I can't remember if it was recommended to use uh, Loctite 222 or 243 recommended on all fasteners. Okay, 222, 243. I'm not going through that just at this juncture. I've got 242 here. That is the blue. This is 222 or 243. I do not have 243. Now, if anybody knows if I could use this, let me know. I'm not going to use it unless otherwise. Read the manual, ladies and gentlemen, read it. If you're not, you're wrong. Stop listening to the Google turning on the side of the road. Okay, all right, so let's get back in here. And I know they wanted 30 inch pounds on this little doohickabahang hang too. So, 
plug her in. Right in between that 25 and 35 mark, down to 30. Someone's screaming inside of yourself, your OCD is like, you should have used long time. Tell me in the comments. Tell me how you really feel. Let's have a moment of silence. Chris Pratt, you're awesome. Moment of silence for a snack. I love it. I love it. All right, so I got my 30-inch pounds there. Okay, so what screws, for the love of God and all that is holy, do I use? And where did I get that information from? So I'm going to just zoom out here just for a moment, you guys. I've got my laptop over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to get backspace, use the fingerprint, get up here to T-Rex arms real fast. So disclaimer is now in this part of the video, none of this uh, materials, everything was bought by myself, no sponsorship, no money exchanged hands, anything like that whatsoever. So if anybody wants to send me their stuff for some reviews or whatever, I'm the guy who knows a lot about a little or a little about a lot, whatever way you want to get. You understand what I'm saying e either way. Okay. So I've got, I'm on T-Rex Arms website. You guys are awesome. By the way, John Lovell, I am a warrior poet. And I love you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so I'm on T-Rex Arms website real quick. And what I actually purchased straight from T-Rex Arms website was replacement screw kit, Glock MOS slides, Trijicon RMR, MS, uh, MOS screw kit. Comes with three sets of screws. Bottom line, this is quote, end quote, from T-Rex Arms website. Quote, the screws that come with the Trijicon RMR are not compatible with the optic cut slides or Glock MOS models. If you are purchasing an RMR for your full size Glock MOS, there are screws, these are the screws that you will need. This kit comes with one set of screws for attaching your MOS plate to the slide, one set of screws for attaching your RMR to the plate, and one set of screws for attaching your MOS cover to your slide. That's what I'm holding in my hand, right? Now, thank gosh, thank goodness to Arasaka. Not only did Arasaka send me another plate, but they also sent me the screws. Uh, and I bought, as you can see, guys, four or five sets because I was just so pissed and upset that I didn't have screws to set this up. I got a training class I'm going to in a couple days. It's going to be fun. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> these are the correct screws. They're 630 seconds in, uh, 632 by 0.385 of an inch. So 632nd by 0.385 of an inch. I will do the biggest of favors, leave a link in the description down below for you guys. And then these are also T15 Torx. T15 Torx. That's your identifier on here at the back, okay? That's not gonna do it, of course. So I'll leave that out of the way, leave that alone, and I'll find whatever works over here. Again, look at these fix-it sticks, you guys. Can't go wrong. If you don't have a pair of needle nose pliers, you're wrong. Fix yourself. Whoop! That just did not happen. What's up with this guy? He's weird. Yeah, okay. You're the one watching YouTube. All right, moving right along. So I'm going to carefully here, carefully here, right? I'm considering using some Loctite, but we'll see what happens, right? All right, I'm going to zoom back in here, give you guys a little bit more of an angle view on there. All right. Just very, very carefully is my intent here. You know what, I'm not even gonna use that. Magnetic, it is awesome. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's just be careful here. It's that simple. Let's just be careful. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Or should I not? I think I shall. <gasps> He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Yes, he should. Okay, just a little bit of there, a little bit of there. I don't intend on taking her off, so we are where we are. All right, everyone's going to be like, oh, that's more than... Eight. Yeah, okay, leave a comment. Let me know how you really feel. Tell the world, okay? There's one in there. Now, slowly but surely, I want to put her in place. All right, feel her grabbing a little bit. Much better. Occupies the countersink. Okay, leave her there. Six thirty seconds. Get my handy dandy little Loctite here. I think that 242, what I'm using, is less than 243. I'm just going by numbers. <gasps> uh, it's an assumption, so we'll see what happens. Oh, wow, that was a lot. And if you know, you know. All right. Yeah, no, no way. 
All right, stand up here. Damage control, what am I doing? Paper towel. Disappear for the paper towel. Your show will resume momentarily. Elevator music cue. Da, na, na, na. Okay, that sucked, I'm back. Okay, get all that nasty goo. That was a lot, that was a lot. Leave a comment below, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a comment, I don't wanna hear it. Don't tell me. And he puts more on, wow, what is this guy doing? Okay. She's there. All right, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna scrape this little sucking sucker. Okay, gonna cap her off right there. Leave a comment in the below if you know what I'm doing or not. It's like, yeah, you just drenched it. You shouldn't have done that. Okay, cool. Do you. All right, guys, so moment of truth here. All I want to do is just a little bit of hand tight because I know I'm going to torque them down. That's the bottom line. Ooh, love that tension that I got there. Now I know that that's normal. Okay, that's normal. Now, according to my understanding, the specs is going to be 10 to, I think it's 10 to 13 inch pounds. I can't remember where I got that. What I do know is I'm not going to go over that. Uh, I think it was in an article somewhere. I'm not 100%. Uh, and I can't recall. However, very, very bluntly said, optic to optic plate. Refer to optics manufacturer never exceed 20 inch pounds. So I'm not gonna do that. I can't remember where I read it, guys, but I'm only gonna go to say the 10 to 13 and we're gonna take it from there. What am I doing? All right. Feel free to fast forward anytime you guys want to your heart's desires. There's right around 12 to 13. One more time, 12 to 13, I'm good with that. One more time, 12 to 13. Happy, happy, 12 to 13, and I'm happy with that. All right. Slap you back in here just for the giggles. Make sure you're out of my way. Is that where you go? Ah, oh, you fit. Yeah, I did pull you out of there earlier. All right, guys. And now we have successfully installed the Trejicon RMR Arasaka, or the Arasaka 45 degree offset mount onto an Aero 15 Picatinny rail. Um, if you're interested in some of the parts I use, bottom line, fix it stick, inch pounds torque set setup. Uh, and go to T-Rex Arms. You can grab a set of those screws if you need them. So long story short, don't do what I did, guys. Take your time, slow it down, slow it smooth, smooth as fast. Uh, do what you gotta do. So let's uh, take a look-see here. If you're interested in my base plate, we can talk about it. I got some fun stuff coming in down the line. Let's rotate her around. Holy crap, that is just freaking cool, guys. That is just so freaking awesome. I've got this little mount thing on my camera, so I can't even see. So I gotta reposition myself in a section. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, where is it? Where is it? All right, we're doing this, guys. We're doing this. I'm just gonna set it down. We're doing this. We're getting high. We're moving the camera up. I'm gonna find it for you. Hopefully, there's nothing out of you. Ah, okay, we're doing this. Yep, I gotta show you. It's just that freaking cool. Where's the red? Where is it? Oh, maybe the lens doesn't see it. Crap, I don't even see it. Oh. Stop moving, camera. Stop moving. Super cool, guys. Super cool. Could not be happier myself. If you're wondering, damn, his handguard's all the way back. Yes, it is, because I get tired up here. That's that simple. Okay? Hardcore guys. Hardcore stuff. All right, guys. That's all she wrote for now. What am I doing? I'm putting her back on the base. Oh, come on. Go forward with your mounts, guys. Go forward with your bipods. Out of the way. 
that's it guys i don't even know how long i've been recording let me slide this out and just take a little look see oh 24 minutes not bad not bad all things considered guys hopefully you guys appreciated the video i screwed this up to the degree that you know i went through a base plate those plates aren't necessarily cheap they're about 30 bucks each but i wanted to provide you guys a video that um you guys could use would be a value if there i didn't see this when i looked up installation of arisaka 45 degree offset mount uh, dangers and warnings and beware uh tomorrow just for you guys i will go ahead and uh zero this if you guys are interested oh Dear Lord, what am I doing? What am I doing? All kinds of stuff. Okay. I'm going to be zeroing this tomorrow. I've already zeroed her. I'm going to reconfirm my zero, maybe 50 to 100 yards. And then I'm also going to zero this. This will be zeroed at 25 and in. This is going to be used from 50 and out. I'm sending it at about mm, comfortably 1.5 to 2.5, maybe even a three. So 25 and in, uh, 50 and out. Got to love the world, right? guys got any questions any comments please 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 hit the like button hit the subscribe button you guys let me know what you think about the video uh i apologize in some previous videos learning i had studio set on my microphone so it was only coming out of one speaker when i replayed my videos but you live and learn that's the only way you get better is by making is by failing you get up and try again you make it better you guys got any questions for me let me know any videos you guys would like to see let's go ahead and do it Oh, look, just chilling some HSGI gear, Picatinny rails, got uh, some knives and some freaking STAC Kiwi uh, dual AR-15 with some WTF straps and all that stuff. But anyway, if you know, you know. All right, guys, till next time, greatly appreciate your time, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, stay safe, carry safe, maintain the standards, and stick to the basics. Have a good time, guys. Till next time.